Welcome back to service, everybody. I was gonna shave before I recorded this video, but uh, I didn't feel like it. So you're just gonna have to deal with uh, James Gunn <laughs> reviewing your dinos instead of the normal climbing stuff. So I'm just gonna cut right to the chase, cut you know, just right through that baloney. We got a world record this week. It's been a long time since we've had any world records. The one-arm campus dino hasn't been done yet. It's been a long time. Remember when this channel used to be about setting dino world records? I don't either. Look at this legend right here. One arm campus dino hasn't been done before, at least not that I've seen. So we got a new world record that looks like what? Two and a half feet, about two and a half feet. The one arm campus dino record. I'm going to add it to the list of records. I hold like every record right now because uh, nobody ever wants to try stupid dinos. First submission to this cult. Hey, you think this is a cult now? Just wait until I tell you about the new tier system. From now on, it's no longer about upvotes, right? No democracy here. It's about money. You pay $10, I, I might look at your dino. $100, I'll try your dino. <laughs> I don't know how tier systems work. $1,000, you get a nude pick. That's how a cult really works. You know, if we, we want to take this to the next level, you want to take this cult stuff seriously, you got to pay, pay your way in. All right, going over to pink. Oh, past pink. Am I the only one that, uh, sorry, I always uh, do this. Am I, am I the only one that hates these dinos, right? Where they put shit like right where your head is supposed to be, where you're dinoing to, like your hands got to catch here. It means your head's going to be right in this region. So, you know, you get to do a fun dino and smash your head into the volume and be like, that dino make my head go bingo bongo. Sorry, I didn't mean to, to get carried away. I missed the dino again. Great dino. Board to board dino. This seems perfectly safe. <laughs> Dinoing <laughs> cross. That was pretty cool. That was a really cool, uh, cool dino. That was a big swing too. Just <laughs> dinoing from board to board. That's how you get kicked out of the gym. That reminds me. Uh, I saw a post. This was before uh, my my video on Matt Climber. I saw a post back when I used to follow him, where he did. It was a, a pretty sick dino. I'll see if I can find it. This is the one. This is this is sick. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that, I saw that post. I was like, "That's awesome." Nobody's saying he's not a, a great dinoist. I didn't even see that part. He dinoed back. Yeah, nobody's saying he's not a great dinoist. Just you know, kind of an asshole. Girlfriend is four foot eleven, 149 centimeters. Four foot eleven. I usually <laughs> I usually feel like you know I'm six foot tall. I feel like that's not that tall. But then I guess being over a foot taller than somebody else probably, uh, you know, has a little bit of a benefit when it comes to dinoing. And I force her to dino every time we climb. I'm sure she loves that. All right, let's see it. Four foot 11 dino. We're going out to orange. Good dino. Yeah, it seems like your training has uh, prepared her well. Can this be considered a D5? Just stop. Just, uh, I've given up on the DM system, all right? It's a DM5. I already said we're not using it anymore. You guys can't figure it out. Let's see if this can be considered a D5. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> all the way up to the top. This reminds me of that uh, Emil Abrahamson video where he uh, does the paddle dino, the longest paddle dino. This one, it might give him a run for his money. You really just kind of kept going with this one. All right, because it was actually a pretty, pretty cool dino, I will excuse you miswriting or mispronouncing, whatever you call it, DM5. Always fun when the last move is a dino. All right, so we gotta wait for the last move. It's a nice uh, nice trick to get me to watch the entire climb. I see that. <laughs> Am I the only one that just is uncomfortable with those holds, that finish hold there? You know which one I'm talking about? Something about them, I don't know what it is. They just, they make me uncomfortable, but he's got a dino to it. Maybe he'll be a little less uncomfortable after the dino. Let's see it. Very nice. Undercling dino too. I absolutely hate undercling dinos, but you made it work. Nice uh, double, <laughs> double hand catch right on the tip. Right on the tip. Good job. The dick dino, LMAO. I wasn't going to say it, but yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was thinking. They're weird. They're not uh, the most aesthetically pleasing holds. I mean, in fairness, if, if your dick looks like this, uh, it's problematic. <laughs> it's probably not great, but uh, you know, at least it gets better towards the back, right? Back. Hey, you're gonna be underwhelmed at first, but don't worry. Once it once it's in there a little bit, it gets it gets better. 
All right, I think you guys know what time it is. It's time for Guess the Grade. Last week, I did not do very good on Guess the Grade. I got like one right. I've been training a little bit, a little bit of practice. I think I got this one. We'll start with twice my height. Does he have the spoiler? He doesn't, he put it in the comments and he got downvoted. <laughs> How, this is the number one most upvoted one for the guess the grade and it wasn't even now I already know the grade we're off to a good start local comp semi-final step up dino I see the spoiler down here I am not going to scroll through the rest of the comments because I don't trust people we have our first official guess the grade okay few holds tells me it's probably harder because it's a comp boulder <laughs> I'm gonna say that that's like a, a v7 dino on its own Jeez, is there a foothold there? There is a foothold. I'll give him that. All right. Um, I'm going to say by the looks of that, it looks like it's in that V7 territory. I can see it being anywhere from like V6 to V8. That's how I tend to grade in my head. I do like a three-way and then I pick the one in the middle. So I'm going to go with V7, but just know anywhere from V6 to V8, I'd be like pretty confident with. It's going to be like V10 or something, but I'm going V7. Let's see. Drum roll, please. V8 to V9. I was close. <laughs> I knew it was probably harder than it looked, that one. I could tell. Damn it. All right. 0 for 1. Not a good start. Overhang, sloper, start. We got uh, another person calling this one a dick dino. Pretty, uh, a lot of dick dinos. And we have the spoiled. All right. This is my chance to redeem myself. I, I, I don't have a high bar to reach to match where I got last time. Start looks a little rough. We're looking like, uh, it's hard to tell because your angle. It looks like it's pretty overhung. I'm going to say right now, it looks like it's like V7. You guys are really uh, picking it up from last week where instead of V5 every time, it's V7. Holy shit. All right. This one, this one's risky. That looks really hard. Um, I'm going to say this one. I want to say V7 or V8, but I'm thinking it might be like V6 and I might just be looking at it weird. I'm going to go with my gut. My gut's telling me V8. I know it's a lot more overhung than it looks. That's what's really uh, getting me with this one. So it's time to find out if V8 is accurate or not. V6 to V8. I said like V7, V8. Okay, I'll take that one. He chose to give me a three grade range. That's on him. Let's see. Is this what it felt like? V2, <laughs> you son of a bitch. All right, one one for one. No, wait, one for two. Not th th That's better than I uh, started off last time. Little toe catch for the church. Why is it playing already? Why is it playing already? I don't see any spoilers or grade in the, <laughs> in the thing, and it's still got 18 upvotes. Why are you guys upvoting guess the grades that don't have the right thing? We've regressed since last week. We had more. All right, one of my all-time favorite boulder problems. And we have the spoiler. Awesome. This is one of his all-time favorite boulder problems. Big uh, jump over. That puts it in the, the V4 camp for me, I would say. That looked pretty tough. That was a slopey foothold. I guess we're using different colors here. Okay. <laughs> Another phallic dino. This one's kind of getting hard to tell. It's looking like we're in that territory of you're making it look harder than it needs to be. But I don't know. Could be really hard. It's got a spotter. Add th that, that takes away a point for the grade this is a long one my god i mean honestly looking at all this i, I it, it looks like v5 to me it looked tough but uh, i looked like it was more just at your peak grade range i'm gonna go with v5 i'm going with my gut on this one that looked like a v5 v4 i said it was in that v4 range v4 felt harder though you know what felt harder means v5 but uh, you know, I, I need to start sticking with my gut. It's like the first grade I always say is always the right one and then I change it. V4 felt harder though. Damn it. I'm 0 for, what is that? 0 for 2? 1 for 2? 1 for 3? I don't know. Guess the dino. All right. That was a pretty big dino. Is that the entire boulder? It is. That's cool. So I'm just guessing the grade of this exact dino. That's where I, I thrive. That's a V5 dino if I've ever seen one probably v4 but i'm going with v5 was my gut i would be if i went v4 it'd be me changing it again so if it ends up being v5 that's my gut steering me straight it was v4 
Why, Barbie? Why? So the problem isn't <laughs> me not going with my gut. The problem is I'm just wrong every time. How How is that 1v4? Damn it. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Oh, for one for four. Tricky Dino with a enormous spoiler. All right. This Dino's going to uh, trick you up a little bit. Right now, it looks like uh, V3-ish. All right. I'll give that V4 now. We're in that V4 range. But, you know, we're not just grading the Dino. We're grading the uh, the entire boulder problem. So, I, I actually don't even know what you would do from here. Is it a giant? Is it actually a giant campus move? Damn. There is no foot there, so I, I do think you had to do that. Um, this is tough. I'm feeling like V5, V6. Uh, my gut is telling me V5, but I want to say V6. So neither have proven me right in the past. I said V5 to V6. I'm going to stick with V5 on this one. Jim doesn't use V scale, but it's a six out of eight. That does not help me. All right, this one has nine upvotes. Please save us. There's no spoiler for the grade. What about this one? Uh, no spoiler. Okay, so no no uh, way I can guess the grade because there's no grade to be guessed. Uh, oh, we have one here with only eight upvotes. All right, Purple War, thank you. You're saving the day here. Let's get our final guess the grade in. I'm <laughs> one for four, I think. Start looks uh, pretty tough. Looks like it's like V5-ish. Yeah, I think this one's a pretty clear-cut V5. V5 will save me in the end. I think V5 is what we needed to get me at least two for five. Let's see it. V6. It didn't look like V6. All right, it looked like V5. Whatever. One for, uh, one for five. Is that what we got? Worse than last week somehow? I blame you guys. All right, let's, let's do something else. Lead Dino, variation of Idiot Parade 10C Red Rocks Vegas. These always stress me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure you've noticed I don't do a lot of outdoor uh, lead climbing. My hands are literally sweating <laughs> right now. I don't know why, it, it freaks me out. It's like the rope makes it scarier for some reason. That's a big dino too, I can already see. <laughs> He's questioning it too. Hell yeah, good dino. I don't know how you do that, my hands, now it's, Freaking gross, sweaty hands the rest of this video. Yeah, awesome dino. That's sick. I actually feel like these are like the coolest variations of dinos is like on big walls. I mean, I guess that's kind of obvious, but like I feel like deep water solo dinos. Those got to be like number one, right? Like nothing's cooler than a deep water solo dino. You're high up on real rock, but there's no like rope or anything. I don't know. I guess a free solo dino is actually the coolest, but I wouldn't recommend it. Maddie Hong and Sean Rabbitu set this dino in my local gym. That's pretty cool. I don't know who Maddie Hong is. I guess I'm uncultured, but I know Sean Rabbitu. That looks like Sean. <laughs> is that Sean? Or is that you? I feel like this is you. You just look like Sean. We all kind of look alike, let's be honest. Okay, that's definitely Sean, <laughs> Sean Rabbitu. <laughs> yeah, I can like see his face. And there's like a million people watching. I know I'm like not actually looking at the dino. I just, I had to know if it was Sean or not. I'm, I, Sorry if I'm assuming that that's not you and it is you. I just assume that uh, Samaritan OW doesn't draw in uh, quite this big a crowd when they climb. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's let's see the dino one more time. Pretty sick. I would love to try that. I have no idea where this is, though. First time doing this kind of coordination didn't top, unfortunately. Uh, well, first thing I got to say, this is this is the finish hold, right? Am I correct? <laughs> Just reach up. <laughs> you're like, didn't top, unfortunately. Don't even do the dyno. Just, you're, you can easily just touch that with both your hands. Use your height to your advantage. All right, let's see the dyno. Is it worth it? <laughs> Pretty cool. That's a clencher. That'll really make you clench. That'll really make you clench. <laughs> Foot pops on uh, slab walls uh, are borderline make me want to quit climbing when they happen. Probably my least favorite thing about rock climbing as a whole. So we actually have a couple discussion posts uh, this week. I try to going to try to start looking at those for now on. They don't get as many upvotes, but that doesn't make them less important. This one says, Noob Gang, any advice for beginner climbers or climbers new to dinos? Also, 
Could there be a Discord setup or something? I'm not gonna lie, I, I use Discord when I play Call of Duty. I don't really know <laughs> what, what advantages Discord has for something like uh, this YouTube channel. If you guys really want one, I guess we can make one. I feel like it would just be like the Reddit again, maybe more uh, discussion based, but just you can put your discussions in here. I'll try to get to them. Uh, as far as advice goes, I don't wanna get into a whole thing on this video. Uh, I might do a video on like dino beginner tips and tricks. I usually try to avoid stuff like that because I'm not like the best climber in the world. So me giving advice could easily be superseded by like 50% of the climbing community. That being said, I'm pretty damn good at dinos. So I'll probably make a video about that. Uh, just, just hold on to your britches for a little bit. Now this one's a little different. It says dino dispute done in the middle of a circuit. I have no idea how they're graded. To move downward is what I'm confused on. My friend says it's a downward dino. This is a serious allegation. Downward dinos are illegal. So it looks like uh, he's got to get down here. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Uh, like, I don't know how else he would do that without some kind of big drop. Like what just happened? I mean, I wouldn't say that's a downward dino. It's just kind of like a down climb. Also though, I'm thinking, well, let me see. If he's just going back left, because I see other holds up here. Yeah, it looks like you probably weren't supposed to go down in the first place. It looks like you're standing on these with your hands on this and you just kind of boop over like that. You might have overcomplicated it. But if not, I do agree with you that uh, this this drop is a kind of a weird move. So I actually saw this one got posted. Crazy campus speed climb with a nice dyno in the middle. And uh, I specifically remembered that I wanted to watch it, even though it didn't have a lot of upvotes, just because I don't know why I thought it, it sounded funny. If it ends up being stupid, I'll just edit it out. <laughs> All right, here we go campus speed oh this guy is flying through holy shit they are flat out. They're, about to, they're like colliding with each other who are these people this guy is cruising he's just got fucked i don't know what happened to him we got to break this one down a little bit so they both almost <laughs> clack into each other right like here <laughs> this guy gets stuck he's spinning around too much he's not he, he's not okay he just he ran out of gas what a cool comp. I would love to do something like this. I, I suck at campusing, but thanks for sharing that. That was, a, that was a cool video. Consecutive campus dinos. I think I finally found my home at the church. Did this a while back and thought y'all might like it. Welcome home. Let's see these consecutive campus dinos. All right, I can de definitely see where he's gonna go. Oh, damn. Holy shit, that was, a, <laughs> that was more impressive than I thought it was gonna be. I thought you were just gonna do the one, two, three on this. Not that that wouldn't be impressive, but these aren't super far apart. He went straight up to this, to this, all the way up to this. For those of you that haven't tried this before, the first one's always like easy, but continuing your momentum on campus dinos like that, I personally find to be pretty tough. So that, that was pretty cool. Bad hang into dino. This uh, looks exactly like mosaic and it is. And I know you, <laughs> I know the gym and the person in this. It's Sean Rabatou. I have not seen this one yet, and I've never seen a bat hang into a dino. I'm realizing now that it's a bat hang, and then you do a dino. I'm a little disappointed, I'm not going to lie, but this gym, they set some beefy dinos. This is where a lot of my dino footage I get is at this gym. Look at this bad boy. You got it. Don't be scared. <laughs> there you go. Nice job. I'm definitely, I'm very tempted to go before I publish this. Go try this dino to put it in here. I probably won't, though set this tow hook release dino. We got another route setter setting dinos. My favorite thing with this is you can tell how much the uh, the customers at the gym are gonna hate them based on uh, how obnoxious the dino is. That was pretty cool. I feel like people would generally like that one. A lot of static climbers, I don't think they'll fully understand that what they're doing there is a dino. So you might be in the clear. A sacrifice for the church, probably the most used title. <laughs> I think a booger came out. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> His foot just immediately, <laughs> just immediately came off. Where is it? Right there. You can see he's like, goes up. He gets the foot placement good. It just pops right off. It does not, there is no, <laughs> no traction there whatsoever. All right, let's see the actual, uh, the actual send though. Oh, he doesn't even send, he doesn't even send it. That's the whole thing. It's just him laying on the mat. Hey, we've all been there. We've all been there. Good attempt. Fail and ascend for the church. We got a lot of fails this week. All right, huge paddle dino here. Okay, I guess it wasn't a paddle dino. <laughs> a fall in the face. 
He's looking a little dazed, look, <laughs> a little dazed and confused. The question is, will he give up or will he get back on that horse? He's getting back on that horse and sending it like a real paddle dino. My man, will he get the rest of it? I'm assuming he does. He does. All right, awesome. It took longer than I thought, so I <laughs> probably edit that part. 360 dino. We haven't gotten a lot of those yet. We've only had a few 360 dinos. I'll be here to tell you if it's legit or not. All right, first thing. <laughs> How tall are you? I don't know if it's the angle. You look like Mo Bamba here. Hopefully that will uh, assist you in your dinoing endeavors. This definitely was not the angle. Was that a, a 360 <laughs> a 360 dino? <laughs> it's kind of more of a uh, like a, a, a Spider Man dancing through the coffee shop kind of kind of move there. That's actually a perfect analogy. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized it. You got you know a Spider Man one dino, and then you got this here. This is a, a Spider Man three dino. Is it a Spider Man one or a Spider Man three dino? That should be the categories. This is just straight up Spider Man one dino or Spider Man three dino. I'm sorry, my dude, but uh, still good effort. Came back and finally made the final move. Let's see it smire, smile overall. That's a big dino. That is a, a pretty legitimately sized dino. I guess I don't know what a non-legitimate dino would be. The, the funny thing is too, that you were able to do the dino in the past, but you've been struggling on this final move because I think most people would agree the crux is probably the dino there. So that, that's the sign of a true dinoist. I know I say that a lot, but thinking that the dino is easy when it's supposed to be the crux and then failing on the static part. Very good dino though. I, uh, you know, I do miss, I miss projecting boulders. I don't know why, like I just completely stopped projecting boulders. I used to always like be like, I gotta get this one. It's a really cool boulder. I've been trying it for weeks. Now, I not even exaggerating. If I try a, a climb more than like three times, I just never do it again. I just always get super impatient. Like if it can't be done in three tries, it, it shouldn't be done at all. I really got to work on my uh, my attitude. Static climbers did not believe it was possible. All right. Are these the static climbers here <laughs> watching you? For all intents and purposes, I'm going to assume these are the static climbers. It right, looks like a big lache move. That was pretty cool. He's fixing the mat for you. Definitely not irritated that <laughs> he, he had to do a dino there. Ooh, he got it. And he disapproves. <laughs> he is not happy about that. The static climbers thought it was impossible. Like, how do I get over there? What am I supposed to do? Like, like jump? First offering to the church world record attempt for shortest dino. Tall people won't understand. That's right, tall people. You don't get it. All right. We're about to witness a world record in the making. Let's go! World record, shortest dino. Was that actually even a dino? Let's find out. It was, that is legitimately a dino. He comes, all four limbs are off at the same time, right? Uh, I think between frames, right there. That's a legitimate dino. That is the, the world's shortest dino so far. Two world records in one video, perfect way to end the video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next week.